another politician has yet been abducted in Anambra State, and the perpetrators also shot his son. This one happened on Saturday, and the incident just keep increasing and increasing. The lawmaker that was representing Governor Soludo's constituency, which is Aguata II, his dead body, rather his head, has just been found because they just cut off his head. And before that one is digested by everybody, another one has happened. They have abducted another politician. Welcome to our channel. Please kindly subscribe and remember to click the notification bell so that you will receive our next videos directly. Let's tell you what has happened again in Anambra State because it's becoming a regular now. So a non government on Saturday stormed Umudiji Umuahama village, Okpo, in Inewi South, local government area of Anambra State abducted a special advisor to the former chairman of Newi South Council area, Honorable Uzozie Chukujeku. The rampaging gunmen were said to have invaded the compound of the victim at 12 midnight and abducted him after shooting his son in the stomach. A member of the community who spoke with journalists they pleaded anonymity, said that the government were said to have enraged against Honorable Chukujeku following his alleged refusal to willingly open the gate of his compound for them until they forced their way into the family compound. The only son of the victim, who was said to be fatally wounded by the government, was said to have been rushed to an undisclosed hospital where he is currently receiving treatment. As at the time of this report, Chukujeku's whereabout is yet to be ascertained, as his abductors are yet to communicate his family or relations. Meanwhile, members of St. Andrew's Church, Omohama Okpo, have organized special prayers for the quick release of the victim and the recovery of his only son. Attempt to the, to get to the police and the get attempt to get the police angle of the report did not yield any positive result, as the police public relations officer PPRO of Anambra State Command Ikenga Tochuku could not be reached at the time of this report. So, this is another one developing quickly. On top of the other one. Politicians in Anambra State has become a haunted species, endangered species. They are picking them, they are killing some, they are kidnapping some. And this, they are not even going for the big time politicians that operate at federal level. It is very the local ones or the state level operators. What is going on? Why is it a war against politicians? Why, where is the war coming from? And this uh, Newi South local government, the rate of this criminal activity in that local government is astounding. Many times this town, this Okbo in Newi South has become a, a epicenter of this kind of activities. It was in this same work that some gunmen jumped out of a car, ran to a bar where people were relaxing, having a drink, shot dead, about three of them, just went in, uh, jumped back into their car and zoomed off. Without any provocation, nobody knew, and the people they shot, they are just ordinary folks enjoying their evening after a hard day's walk. They just shot them and left. Now they have gone there, kidnapped somebody, 
This new South local government, they have burned the local government headquarters with some other things they destroyed. So why is Okpo in the center of kidnapping, violence, burning, killing in Anambra State? Could it be because it's close to Imo State? Is this violence something that is coming across from outside of Anambra State? And then the nearest towns to the border towns is where they operate. I don't have the answers. But this is something the government should also look into because a particular area has become an attraction to these marudas, gunmen, criminals, whoever they are. And everybody will stand to condemn this because the whole Anambra state has been turned upside down on its head. A state that used to be winning laurels in the past two years, three years, four years, going back was as a very quiet and calm state in Nigeria as a whole, now is hosting these criminals. Has become, uh, come, be, I mean, is now at the receiving end of all kind of violence. That is very unfortunate, my people. Very unfortunate. But this is what has happened, and we have to bring it to you. Uh, we just hope and pray that the son recovers and that the man also is released, hell and healthy, unlike what happened to the lawmaker from Aguata to constituency, that his head was cut off after the uh, four days of kidnap or tithe. This is all we will bring you on this one. Please go to the comment section. Tell us what you think about what is happening in Anambra State. Remember to subscribe. Click also on the notification bell so that you will receive our video uploads immediately. Thank you and God bless.